Diane Keaton's support of the disgraced director Woody Allen was harshly criticized by the public, but she didn't care. Diane stood by Woody, her loyalty unwavering. Their bond has spanned over five decades, and after all these years and the dark clouds that shrouded their relationship, Keaton assured that she would always love Allen. We'd have dinner, she'd tell me that she loved me, and then she'd throw up. Diane Keaton and Woody Allen go all the way back to 1968. At the time, Keaton was 22 years old and a struggling actress trying to get her career off the ground. From their very first meeting, Keaton was infatuated with Allen and even confessed to feeling crazy about him. On the other hand, Woody viewed Diane in less flattering terms. According to a 1993 profile in the New York Times, he described her as blank and a coat check girl. It took some convincing on Keaton's part to gain Allen's attention. After warming her way into his heart, the pair eventually started dating. The actress admitted, I wanted to be his girlfriend, so I worked at it. Their romance went on and off for about three years before they broke things off for good. Speaking about their relationship, the actress hinted that it was the director who chose to officially end things. I remember Woody saying, living with you was like walking on eggshells. I think it was because I had too much sensitivity. I was hurt by everything, she shared. Following their split, the director dated both of Diane's sisters, Robin and Dory. Despite all of this, Keaton and Alan remained the closest of friends. Their continued friendship may have seemed unconventional to the public, but their shared experiences only brought them closer together. Isn't that interesting how life is, like I say, like in this movie, you don't know what's going to happen, really. You make some choices, and that choice leads you to something that you hadn't expected. In 1992, Woody found himself in the middle of a high-profile custody battle with his ex, Mia Farrell. Things took an even darker turn when the director was accused of assault against his adopted daughter, Dylan Farrell. Alan subsequently fired Mia from his upcoming movie, Manhattan Murder Mystery, and Diane replaced her for the role. Despite the numerous allegations against the director, Keaton stood by his side. I like Mia, but my history has always been linked with Woody. He's my friend, the actress shared. Alan expressed his gratitude to Keaton and said that she was totally supportive and fabulous while he went through his custody battle. He added, She took a million calls from me and let me kvetch on her shoulder. It was great therapy for me, a great palliative. During press for the movie, Diane was reluctant to talk about the director's ongoing battle with Pharaoh. That being said, she openly criticized the Supreme Court ruling that restricted Woody's visitation to his children. I think it was too harsh, she told the New York Times. I think he could have had better visitation rights. You can't eliminate the parent from a child's life, no matter what happened. In 2014, Diane was named in an open letter written by Dylan Farrow for the New York Times. Dylan reiterated her allegations against Allen and condemned the actors who were still lining up to work with him. You knew me when I was a little girl, Diane Keaton. Have you forgotten me? Farrow wrote. Keaton was quick to defend her support of Alan. She expressed she didn't want to say anything about Farrow's accusations, except, I love Woody, I'm Woody's friend, and I believe him. That's the bottom line for me. The actress also insisted she wasn't bothered by being publicly called out in Dylan's open letter. Diane explained that she saw Farrow maybe three times and she didn't know her. She shared that she was never friends with Mia either. Over the years, Keaton reiterated her love for Woody and often referred to their long-standing friendship. He was hilarious. And I think that the thing about Woody that's so interesting is how did I get to be his friend? I don't know how I got to be his friend. Because it's hard to become a friend of Woody's. He's a very, very private person. After everything that they've been through together, their bond was never broken. That being said, the actress admitted that maintaining their friendship wasn't always easy. He can be quite serious, she told The New Yorker. And one other very important thing about Woody, once you're his friend, that's it. You can call him any hour of the day or night, and he's there for you. In her autobiography, Diane went into more detail about their complex relationship. She wrote how he'd cringe if he knew how much she cared about him, adding that she's smart enough not to broach the subject with him. I know he's borderline repulsed by the grotesque nature of my affection. What am I supposed to do? I still love him. She's been involved romantically with with uh, a half dozen of the most gifted, charismatic, uh, attractive men in Hollywood, and every one of them has dumped her. There's no doubt that Diane and Woody have created some of cinema's most endearing and fiercely romantic couples. Their friendship may be unconventional, but they've never been bothered about what other people think. After everything they experienced together, Diane and Woody's loyalty to one another has always come first. Be well 
and be kind.